resides in two worlds with companion traveled, bargain with the ruler of the dead, a loss too great to bear, a great battle to witness. Only then will lovers be reunited again. Welcome to the Untold Odysseys, the story of Eureka. Episode 6, Beauty, Love, and Other Things. Eureka ran into her mother at the hearth of Hephaestus, and they had a rather blown-out cat fight. Dentra also got really deep and made us feel really guilty. I never knew of her tragic past. Yeah, me neither. Before Eureka and Dentra could make their next move, they were swarmed by men from all sides. Aphrodite showed herself, and that was where we left off. They are literally facing down the goddess of drama queens. Actually, the queen of drama is Dionysus. <laughs> Whatever. She's still dramatic. Aphrodite. You must stop this ridiculous quest. It is not ridiculous! Hephaestus will be blamed, and you will stop this search. Why? If it is not Hephaestus, then the truth should be known. Erica needs this. Dentra, please stay out of this. Eureka, this must end. I am sorry you lost Ambrosine, but the love was impractical anyway. What? Impractical? Are you able to procreate with her? There is no purpose. What is the purpose if not for love? Man was created to create more man, not to love blindly whomever they wish. You are the goddess of love. Should you not support my quest? The love I represent is more physical and produces the next generation of Greeks. Without my love, you would not exist. There are enough people who are willing to procreate that a few men who decide to love the same will not hurt the Greek population. You are ignorant. The world needs my love or it would have fallen apart ages ago. Nymphs are supposed to be virgins. But gods make sure your species does not die out. You are an awful embodiment of humanity's hatred towards difference. You are a mean goddess. You are not my aunt anymore. I hate you. You do not understand what it takes to make the world work. I may not be a goddess, but I understand what it feels like to be in love, which seems to be more than you, the goddess of love, understands. You insolent child. You are going to die just like your lover, in fire. No! Ah! No! Dentra! How could you? What happened to my Dentra? Why is that annoying nymph in my domain? Hades, Persephone, what are you doing here? Oh no. God fight. In this corner with the weight of a feather, we have Aphrodite versus the man with literally the weight of all death in the world on his shoulders. <laughs> Hades! and his flowery queen of the underworld, Persephone. Let me get the popcorn. This is not good. You burned my Dentra? How dare you kill her? Eureka, I'm going to move you to the side away from all of this anger. All of you men should probably leave as well. Be gone, mortals. This is not your quarrel. This is not your fight, either of you. You burned my nymph. You made this my fight. And if it is her fight, then it is my fight. She is dealing with things out of her grasp. She needs to leave this entire quest alone. It is not my fault the nymph decided to jump in the way. This ignorant child should not be among my men. She would produce ignorant children who will ruin the next generation. If she finds the truth, she will not produce children, you ignorant swine. Swine? Hey, uh, not narrating here. I am actually here. Zeus wants you all to take this to Olympus so we don't kill a bunch of mortals. And then overwhelm Hades, and he gets stressed, which would lead to sending Persephone to Hades to cheer him up, which will lead to an unhappy Demeter and an early winter. Killing more mortals, it would be a terrible mess, so let's leave the mortal realm. Can we please meet upstairs? You did not talk to Zeus. Shh! What am I supposed to do? I cannot travel to the gods without Dentro or another god. We must go, but you are smart. You will find the truth, but you will not have aid from us at the moment. Let us go. Please bring Dentro back. I will do everything I can. 
This is going to be a headache. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday at 12.15 and 4.45 or go to theaterofthemindcompany.webs.com. Theater is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Untold Odysseys, The Story of Eureka.